Good morning. Uh, we're going to do this fishing uh, painting today. People, uh, guys standing on the dock and fishing. There's our center of interest, so you want to put that in a comfortable spot on your paper. I, I start with very light, very light uh, pencil marks. Generally, I just draw a circle to show uh, where I'm going to place the subject. There's the two men. Okay, now I go in and do a little deeper uh, drawing. We'll start. I almost always start with the center of interest, so I get that right, you know. There's a close-up of the figure uh, sitting on the edge of the dock. Okay, there's his back. It's a little too much, so I'll cut that back a little bit. Just get a great, a little idea, the gesture of his head. See the outline first. Look at the negative shape in the neck there. That gives you a nice sense of where the head's going to be. If you look at the uh, negative shape between the head and the arm, it gives you that space, you know, rough idea of where it is. Okay, I'm cutting it back a little more. I didn't, thought it was a little too hunchback there. Okay, all right, so there's the, roughly the bottom of his t-shirt there. It's the piling that's right in front of them. So I'm just getting a sense of where I'm going to put these pilings, the space between them. Of course, you notice obviously that the spaces between these pilings get more narrow as they go away from you. So the one out there is hanging out there in the ocean. So. All right. It's the top of the wall. It has a little bit of a slant coming down. Just, you know, always remember, go in with light lines so you can easily erase them and correct them. And, you know, once you place the shape with a light line, then you can go back and do, do your darker lines and your darker drawing if you need to. Okay? It's giving you an idea where these pilings are going to be. It's the bottom of that piling. So those are showing, so you're going to have a nice reflection in the water down there. The first few are. Notice one is lower than the other. So they'll be reflecting in the water. It's the bottom of the wall. A lot of the stuff you won't see because it's so dark, but anyway, there's the other piling. Notice the height of it in relation to the man sitting on the dock over there. And that's a double. There's a second one beside it, just a little bit higher. Okay, that gives you the... All right, we've got a couple of, a couple of figures standing there enjoying the day. Nice and light, go in light first, place the head, you know, you know it should be six, six, seven heads high. So once you get the head in there, you get an idea where the waist is. This guy's got his shirt untucked. 
so it looks like he's his legs are a little shorter than normal but right, this is his hand his legs coming in right there the angle of his arm. You got that little space between his arm and his body that's very important. Okay, so there's the first one. And notice the space between the figures. Yeah. Okay, get an idea. It's the shape of his arm, his head. Shape of his head, his shoulders, the way his shoulders curve around the back of his neck. He's a little taller. It's hard to see in the photo, uh, you know, where, where his body is because of that piling, but roughly that's it. it. Okay, there's the ladder. You just want to make sure that the rungs of the ladder are approximately the same. Uh, that's the back of the, oh, I'm sorry, that's the horizon line coming in. If you want to check that, you can place the right edge of your photo against the edge of your board and use the paper to check your straight lines. Okay? Yeah. This is um, his hand sticking out. Fishing rod. Okay, just kind of go over everything that the rungs of the ladder in equal spaces between them. Okay. All right, that should do it. That's enough to paint. It just basically guides when you're painting because you're redrawing with your painting anyway. Okay, thanks very much, and now we'll get into our painting.